Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Clara and today I'm going to show you how to create this banner. It's been like a really highly requested video so here you are and for that I'm going to use the Outer Effects CC and what we're going to do is create a new composition there. I'm going to leave the settings like that, you can change them if you want but I'm going to work with these settings and then we're going to click accept. So now we have this empty canvas, it's like no background canvas and what we're going to do is going to go to file, import an image or photograph or wallpaper, anything that you want to your canvas, the background of your canvas. So we're going to click and drag and put it down there and we're going to, you know, adjust it a little bit and put it where we really want it. Now what we're going to do is in this tools bar we're going to select the text one and we're going to type the text that we want to create animation and we're going to place it whatever we want and also you can if you select the text you can change the color you can change it to white to red to blue to anything really I'm gonna leave it black and also you can change the size of the font and also the font. I'm using the Sinerica theme for the moment because it's the font that I'm using right now for my videos. And now we're going to affect generate path. So now I'm going to go to the toolbar and I'm going to click zoom and I'm going to zoom in just to work easier. And I'm going to click the pen tool and I'm going to create a path on top of the font that we've just created. And using the pen tool for the first time, let's say, is not easy. So yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, so don't worry about that. Practice makes perfect, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so don't worry about that, you can correct it later. So yeah, don't worry about that, just work it on. So we're almost finished and we're going to go to the important part and make sure you have selected the, all the masks and as you can see it appears like a white halo or white layer that you can adjust here in the size of the pencil. I'm gonna leave it there. You have to cover the font uh, totally but there's sometimes that there's some missing parts and we have to correct it so that's why I told you before that it doesn't have to be perfect we're going to correct it now it is so easy to correct so we're going to use the select tool and you know that those little squares we're going to move them just uh, to make them cover all the text and it's pretty much done so it's so easy so the main trick is here so we're gonna click on the reveal original image and the white path would disappear so if you're going to the end and change 100% to zero we're going to see that everything disappears so don't worry if that happens uh, what we're going to do is click the tempo and set everything on zero. We're gonna change the timeline to three seconds and change it completely to 100%. And that would be it, so easy. Then we're going to click play and you've just created your animation. It's so easy, it's not that difficult. Just if you have a little bit of patience, that would be it. I think it's so cool, it works for any font, so you can create like tons of cool things with this. To save it, we're going to file and export. And there we're gonna click here in second one and that and mini window will open. Not gonna do much. Yeah, I'm going to click process and that would be it. I'm so sorry for the children shouting, but my windows are literally closed, so Thank you so much for watching this video, hope you liked it and find it useful and I hope I can see you in the next one. Bye!